Hi guys, it's Mina, and today in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to make these cute little doilies for sewing machines. So here's what they look like. So this is just a printed off copy I have right here. I actually made these just, I don't have any real, have any real ones that I actually made because I made these a couple weeks ago and I gave them to somebody who paid me to make these. So these are super easy to make, so I'm so excited to show you guys. And they're really small, cute little doilies, and they're for sewing machines. So um, I'm gonna. Sh these are really quick too. So I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some sock yarn. So sock yarn is just really thin yarn, like this. So this is what it looks like. You can get this at Michaels, or you can get it at Joann's, or if you want to go the cheaper route, I do Walmart. You're gonna need. Let me focus this so I can, I can't see. This is the size. F dash five, F slash five dash 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. Sorry if this gets out of focus. You're going to need a row counter. Or you could just use a pencil and a piece of paper. Um, you're going to need a tapestry needle, some scissors, and you're also going to need some extra yarn to keep track of your rounds because it's really hard to keep track, track of your rounds in crocheting. It's easy to do it in knitting, but crocheting it's kind of hard. So I'm going to show you what you're going to do. And if you guys want to see the basic tutorial on how to do a basic crochet chain, I will link that in the description box down below. So if you want to go check that video out, then go down below. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make a slip knot. Sorry. Slip knot and we're going to pull it and create a long tail too. Two, and then you're just going to slip it like and you're just going to pull tight, but don't pull it too much or else you're going to um you're going to um, what's the word I'm looking for? You're going to make it too hard to crochet and been there, done that, and never want to go back. Okay, so to get started, we're going to do a basic chain stitch. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to grab the yarn with the hook, turn it, pull it down, and then you pull it through. Make sure your slip knot's not too tight or else you're never going to be able to get your hook through. And just keep holding each little chain like this. So, um, if because if you hold it from the bottom, it's not going to, um, it's going to be really like hard, hard to work with. So we're going to chain four. So I've chained one, two, three, and then four. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a slip knot and we're going to do that by going to the last chain that we first crocheted and then we're going to turn the hook and then we're going to just slip it through like that. See? And we are going to do a double crochet around the ring, so we're not going to go into any change, and I'm going to show you how to do that. To start the double crochet, you're going to chain four, one, two, three, and then four. So this counts as one double crochet. Um, get your piece of yarn, too, to stick in the middle, like this, so you don't get confused. So you don't get confused. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab it, the hook, yarn with the hook, and you're going to go into the middle. Let me see if I can find the middle. You're going to go into the middle. Like this. The middle of the, thing, the chain. Move your tail out so you don't crochet that by mistake. And then you're going to pull it like this, and now you've gotten... A double crochet and to do the double crochet you're going to go through one, two, the first two two thing, chains that you just made and what you're going to do now is you're going to crochet into them again. So we now have two double crochets and you're going to keep going, let me show you one more time, grab the yarn, go into the middle pull through, pull the yarn through the first two loops and then what you're going to do is you're going to 
grab the yarn with the hook again and pull it through the next loop. So we have about two, three double crochets. Okay, it's because this chain right here counts as a double crochet. And you're going to keep doing that until you have about 12 double crochets. So one, two, I have four. Five, six. You can also move these down too. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Eleven, and then last but not least, we have twelve. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create a slip stitch like this by just pulling the yarn through. You see? So this is what it look, should look like. So, it, so I'll show you guys what to do in the next part because this part's getting long. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in part two. Bye.